What's going on, everybody? James here, readoptionagency.com. 21 years selling on eBay. And uh, let's get into, got everything pulled. So if you're watching the pulling videos, hi again. If you're not watching the pulling videos, go back and watch the other video. All right, so we're gonna get into shipping these items, but first let's talk about eBay and YouTube today, shall we? All right, first eBay. Uh, seemed like it did pretty well overnight, even though I am at the was at the low end of where I like to be. Um, it seemed like I at least had one sale almost every hour, not quite every hour. It didn't seem like there was a big block, so that was at least good. Um, yesterday, I ended up pulling through uh, with nine hundred thirty dollars, but two hundred and forty-two dollars of that was one item, which is a pickup today, and um, you can see that in the pulling video. It's a vintage record player stereo. One of those big, heavy wood tabletop things, uh, which sold for $250. So if you subtract that off, that's a $700 day. That's unfortunately where I've been staying the day before $700. day before that $755. day before that $765. So i um, curious to see how the day will play out. Uh, we are at $1040. I am at $223 now. So I refresh. So I'm actually more near the high end of where I like to be at 10 o'clock at 1040. So no complaints there. The complaint is, seems like it happens after like two o'clock. After two o'clock, things just shut down for me, it seems. Like I'll have an hour, two hours when nothing will come through. And it seems like something goes on for the second half of the day. First half is three, four, five hours, sales an hour. Second half is where it starts getting weird. So and also, that's about the time I start listing stuff. And I've noticed that a lot lately, too. When I start listing, like the sales will back off. Now, I don't know if that's a coincidence or what, but I've noticed that for quite a long time. So, and I've seen a couple of other people here and there kind of mention that. And I don't know. I'm not sure about that. So, I can't really comment about that. Um... Let's see. So yesterday sold 56 items. So at least that was up a little bit. Uh, today we're at 13 items thus far. So. Let's see. Uh, did I, have, I don't remember having any issues yesterday on eBay. So that was a good thing. Uh, but I didn't. it wasn't really on there a lot. I did a lot of picture taking instead of, yeah, of listing. So got a lot of stuff primed pictured and i need to draft and get listed quick so uh, we'll get to that somebody just walked by um so yeah so let's get into shipping these items so i need to call ebay and get that uh negative removed i can do that now because the item finally arrived the one that left the nasty negative who had no patience and what have you. So uh, it finally arrived three or four days ago and I just haven't called in to get that negative taken off yet. So I need to do that. Let me refresh these. And uh, I wanna talk about comments on YouTube today. Like, I, I have no problem with people who don't understand exactly what I do and who are critical or whatever about it. No big deal. You actually have to be in somebody's shoes to understand the who, what, where, when, how, and why. You can't just watch a video or one video or two videos and think you know everything, right? So I have no problems with that. What I have a problem with is when people take it personal. Uh, there was these two people having conversations and the one and of course when you say when you start getting into a personal attack you basically just deleted your whole argument because it, it doesn't matter because obviously there's an agenda there first off second off it clearly shows how ignorant of a person you are and and i mean ignorance beyond just ignorance ignorance is just not knowing Informa all the information. Everybody's ignorant about things. 
But when you voice it like you know you're what you're talking about, then that's like another level of ignorance, if you will. But then when you add personal attacks on top of it, that's just stupidity. Uh, that's just unhappiness. That's just a miserable person. Total. It's maybe I should do like a three level of ignorance. We got one level of ignorance, which we all are toward like I'm ignorant with rebuilding a car. I don't know how. That's just ignorance. Ignorance two is when you think you know something, yet you don't have all the information. That's ignorance two. Ignorance three. So we could do like an F1, F2, and F3 in the ignorance category. F3 is when you get personal attacks. And that just makes you look stupid and dumb and makes everything you said prior to that attack irrelevant. Because it clearly shows where you're coming from. So... Uh, but he uh, ended up call, talking negatively about my beautiful looks. And uh, John, Cincinnati Picker, and Lonnie, uh, Shed Flips, looks. So he's gone. Um, do you think I get dressed up in the morning to do these videos? Come on now. I don't leave the house all day except to go to the post office. You think I'm going to get pretty for you? No. No, my hair doesn't really always look this frizzy. It's usually more wavy when I do it. This hair's been slept on probably for like four days. I wash my hair once a week because shampoo is bad. <laughs> and plus, I don't get it dirty. When I get into riding my bike every day, then my hair gets washed a little bit more, if you know what I'm saying, because then I'm sweating. But um, yeah, I'm not getting prettied up for... I work from home. I work for myself, so I don't have to get prettied up. I don't have to put on my makeup and do my eyelashes and stuff. So I'm not going to start now. But yeah, when you, when you get into ignorant comments, personal attack comments, uh, that's when you get blocked. So blocked him, deleted all of his comments because he's irrelevant now. As for the other person, watch my videos. You'll learn why I do what I do, first off. And you'll understand the main reason I do low-dollar items. If you're aware of my father situation. And uh, you'll learn a thing or two as to why. And the reason I do these videos, and one of them said you don't shouldn't take advice from me. I'm not giving advice. I'm giving you knowledge of what I've learned. I'm showing you what I do, what I sell. I'm not telling you to go out and find a $3 item to sell it, but I'm showing you the $21 item that to keep an eye out for. Just because there's a $3 item or $4 item mixed in with it, that's the way I'm doing business. Like I said, if you watch my videos, you'll understand why I do it. Just the other day to give you just a, a just to give you a uh, so a little context in this video, but I need you to go back and watch the other videos first or after I make this context comment. The other day, in two hours, I listed 120 lower dollar items. Actually, mid dollar items. There were $10 items. So it's all about systems, like I've preached before. So it's all about having systems that make it worth your while. So if you're slow on eBay, which you probably are, if you're criticizing other people without full knowledge, you're F2 on the ignorance level, you probably don't have no systems. You may not have, and I'm not saying you don't, I'm saying you may not have no systems. You may not understand the full realm of what is done. And that's what I try to show in all my videos. And then you take the good parts that work for you and make them work for you and elevate yourself. You don't elevate yourself by being critical to other people. You elevate yourself by elevating yourself. So talking down about somebody and the way they do things doesn't make you better. It actually makes you worse. So unless that person's out there, you know, attacking people or taking advantage of people, then then you have all the right in the world to come after me. But those are things I will never do. So, because I will go after a, 
a mofo who takes advantage of people who's trying to create something on their own because that's the last thing they need what they need to do is what they need is the positive and the reinforcement and the advice and the information and the knowledge that's what they need they don't need to be hey give me your money and i'll tell you something i'll tell you something i took from somebody else that i got for free <laughs> all right let's get to shipping that's my rant for this video. So, Tommy Hilfiger shirt. Sold for $19. Yeah, if you're into tags and such. Headed to Gainesville, Texas. I got a good thumbnail there now. The three levels of ignorance. Da, 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 da. That's cool. There's a coach wallet that probably needs to go out today that I'll have to run upstairs and grab. Because that box is not down here yet. Is that going to go out today? The eighth. No. Don't have to go out till tomorrow, so I can wait on that one. All right. So I gotta find a way to, I don't know. Those sales after like two o'clock, I gotta figure that out. Hmm. Gotta figure that one out. Is it? You know, when eBay's working properly at all times, that don't happen. I literally have sales every hour all day long. So I don't know if I can figure it out, but a uh, New Balance hat sold for $7. Cool little hat. Headed to Seattle, Washington. Oh, yeah. I got the hot water heater guy. We got an instant hot, and I found out what was causing the problem that... It was like waking me up in the middle of the night with this loud noise, like in the water lines. I'm like, oh. kept coming down, trying to get it to turn off, reset the thing. It worked one time, didn't work the other times. So I found a valve that is loose. So it's got a, like a leaky valve on it uh, that's causing all the major racket in the house. So I took a piece of tape and taped up that valve uh, two days ago. And it's been silent ever since, actually beautifully silent. And so they're coming today to replace that valve. And I know I get the question a lot. Do you like the tankless water heater? I love it. I've had one probably 15 years now. I've had two different ones. The, the one lasted probably, this one's probably only like four or five years old, maybe six. And the other one lasted, I guess, about nine years or so. I love them because, I mean, you could fill up two bathtubs at the same time and not have to worry about it. You could run the dishwasher, take a bath. You can do laundry, take a bath. You can do laundry, do the dishwasher. You can do two at the... You don't have to worry about hot water running out. So it's a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Let me see if they email me back on that pickup. Can we do today around 1 p.m.? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Let me work, get back to them as soon as possible here. I never know how to spell that exactly. There 
There we go. I've only spelled it like twice in my life. At the end of the cul-de-sac, Native American mailbox. Native American mailbox with either a blue or a gray SUV in the driveway or both. <laughs> I am in and out today and have a plumber coming. So it will be on the front porch waiting for you. That's the best part about pickups is I don't have to worry because I, like I said in yesterday's videos, like I hate having to be somewhere at a certain time, even here, or I hate having to wait for somebody at a certain time. So, uh, leaving it on the front porch looks perfect for me. Okay, got that squared away. All right, Conway Twitty, Crazy Dreams CD, sold for four bucks. Headed to Lake Lakeland, Florida. Mm -hmm. I think the people that criticize what they don't realize is the systems that I try to show all you guys, especially in that one video. That's I looked at that video. How to list two hundred items in one day? That video has made almost $900 on e on YouTube. How crazy is that? One video, like an hour and a half of my time teaching you guys something and it made $900 so far. That's crazy. But it's awesome, you know? It's so cool. And it didn't come from you guys. You guys didn't have to pay for that information. That is so awesome. Uh, but I think what they feel, fail to realize, being they don't, Obviously, I don't think they watch all the content is all the, the systems and the tips and the tricks of how to list fast, ship fast, you know, and the the convenience of pulling the items and how, you know, the system of doing it all and doing it all for the most part. There's been some hats lately that's been giving me a fit digging for them, but for the most part, making it, you know, a smooth transition transaction across the board and obviously if i didn't talk you would see in true time how fast i can be shipping these items and maybe i'll do one video like that where i won't talk you can just see how fast i run through these items and you can do a timer you know how many items i've got and how long it takes so and then i'll give you something to shoot for So, I mean, there's no problem if you have the space and you have the systems in place to make selling a $4 item effective. If you have under 60 seconds invested in that item from beginning to end, it makes the $4 worth it. You know? so. That's where, like a, when it was three thirty three, I was putting $2 profit in my pocket per item. So at $4, I haven't done the math, but... If I were to do the math, I'm guessing it'd be about 250 profit in my pocket. So if if you make 250 in I mean I I'll take 250 in under 60 seconds any day of the week. Times that by a hundred. Hello. Huh. Hello. Of course I will. All right, I did not grab that. I spoke I forgot to get that before I turn on the camera. There's vinyl in there I need to get. But it might take a minute to get, so I'll do that after I'm done here. Do it last. So we got this faded Waco hat. Sold for $12. Headed to San Antonio, Texas. 
So yeah. So if you are a person who watches my videos, who are who, who watches a video, and you're on the fence about how I do things, watch all the videos. That's all, all I say is watch all the videos. And like I say, I don't tell you to do it this way. I show you how I do it. And then also show not just the systems on how to make your thing. I mean, if you're selling 20, $20 items instead of 20, $10 items, obviously you're gonna do better. But if you got, if you can implement some of the systems, techniques and whatever into your, it's just gonna make you that much better. So that's what it's about. Not about me. It's not about me. It's about learning from the way I do things, whether that, and that's only to better yourself, whatever you take from it. Whether it's the type of items, the systems, the, the uh, storing of the items, whatever the case may be. It's all about taking the good parts of mine that will elevate yours. Because you don't have to like what, the way I do things because you're not doing it. It works for me and that's all that matters. And uh, do you have about $10 million worth of uh, retail stuff paid for in storage because you've done this 21 years? I don't know, do you? Let me know, I'd like to see it. And I know you'd like to see mine, so that's why I get to that little video yesterday, if you saw that video. It's doing pretty good. Uh, you saw the two steps I could take into one of my storage areas. So if you haven't watched that video, you might want to watch yesterday's videos. Uh, but once I can get in there, I will start doing those videos from that area because it'll be a bit different backdrop. It'll be kind of cool, you know, and uh, it'd be a different environment for these videos. So I definitely want to get there. It's just, I can't right now, so... <laughs> A Reader's Digest CD Sofa 4 box. Headed to Gilbert, Arizona. I got stuff still selling, so that's good. All right. Wow, I'm already all caught up for the stuff that needs to go out. <laughs> well, that's cool. Now I can just ship whatever. Actually, that vinyl don't need to go out either. Or did I flip it? It's flipped. Never mind. So that vinyl does got to go out. That's the only one that has to go out. Adrian always flips this the opposite way for some reason. I like keeping the older stuff up at the top. For some reason, he puts it at the bottom. It always throws me off. Throws me off. All righty. We've got Enemy Territory, Quake Wars, Strategy Guy. And that's over 760 headed to Pasadena, California. Well, it fits in here. Size-wise, but I don't know about thickness-wise. Nope. I think the one thing that pissed me off the most in that video or in those comments, well, the only thing that pissed me off is attacking what Jan's getting. That pisses me off. Jan don't have the knowledge I have. She's doing it for fun. She works 60 freaking hours a week as a pharmacist. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do, all right? 
So if I have to sell a 50 freaking no name little wallets or at least attempt to sell them, I will do that because she's enjoying her time off. So don't, you can say whatever you want on these videos about me, but when you come after her as hard as she works with all of her autoimmune diseases, any other lesser of a person would have gave up on life, let alone their job. So that there. Actually, I'm going to go back and read the comments because if the guy I left behind is one that actually said something about her, he's gone too. I didn't, I didn't look to see who said that, but it, that's, that's start, that stuff infuriates me. She can do whatever the hell she wants to do. So she hasn't been picking for 21 years. She gets what she likes and I sell it. Bottom line, period, end of story. That's all you need to know. So that, that, that aggravated me. F.A.O. Schwartz. This is one of the items she pulled. That's what triggered me just now. It triggered me. With all the, the worldly things around the world on those Velcro pieces. I sold for 15 bucks. Headed to Toledo, Ohio. She made me $15. You know what that cost? A dime. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't care if she brought home all trash. She's going to do what she wants to do. Period. all I got to say about that. All right, we've got Ike Davis, Sweet Reality Vinyl. Sold for $4.44, headed to Bedford, Texas. Thank you, thank you very much. You know, and I thought about in the past, like, lotting up all my, you know, lotting up stuff and selling it. And then just changing the way I have done things. Obviously, just going for higher dollar stuff, you know. I thought about it, but I don't know. I just, I have fun doing this. I don't care if it's a $4 item or if it's a $40 item. I have fun doing it. It pays the bills. I make 80000 plus a year. I'm freaking happy. You know? The business did the taxes in business. Right. Not only did I make $80,000 income for, for me. A freaking kid, who's your kid from South St. Louis made $80,000. All right. Payroll. Not counting. I pay for the, uh, the business pays for the, the cell phones all year long. It pays for the storage lockers. It pays for all those other bills, the car, et cetera, et cetera, that are business related. Not only that, I, I get to start taking disbursements out of the business. So that 80,000 this year actually was more like about, took probably like 10,000 out of the business this year. So $90,000 for some freaking Hoosier from South St. Louis. Come on now. Selling little items on eBay. Come on now think I wouldn't be you think could I if I change things could I make a hundred and ninety thousand sure probably maybe yeah but how much am I investing in each of these items all this stuff's paid for except what Jan brings home all this stuff's paid for I could easily go out and find shoes and buy the shoes at fifteen dollars a piece and flip them for what fifty sixty dollars a piece chances are I'm not taking home 
because there's more cost. And then when there's more cost, there's higher fees. Do the math. You know, is it, a, it can it be done? Sure. Is it worth it for me? No, not really. Not when I'm sitting on 10 million retail value is probably a very, not a very low, but a low conservative amount of the retail value of the stuff I'm sitting on. Because I've been, you gotta remember, I've been doing this 21 years and I've been buying by bulk. I've bought out stores after stores after stores. I We were hitting the Goodwill bins when they first opened in St. Louis daily, filling up the truck. That's before they were cherry picking the stuff. So what I have in storage, I have no idea. But chances are it's way over $10 million worth of stuff. That's conservatively at a million pieces at $10 a piece. And I did that because of, you know, I bought out a lot of music stores. So there's some lower dollar media in there also. So that's why I did a, kind of a lower conservative amount. So, so what's in there? That's exciting to me to freaking dig through paid for merchandise to sell. That's pretty kick ass to me. So it may not be your thing, but it's mine. And that's what matters. And the guy is here. I need to run. She's getting the door, so he's going to come down. So we're going to be interrupted a little bit here. So I may have to walk. I'll keep it recording, but I may have to walk away here. Unless that was a, just a drop-off post or uh, mail. Must be mail. They're not supposed to be here until 12 to 4, sometime between 12 and 4. They're usually here right at 12 ish, so we'll see. Jan's here till 3, and she's got to work, so I got to run in to do after I do this, so she'll be here to let him in if I'm not. All right, we got a Cardinal baseball hat sold for 12 bucks, headed to Yukon, Oklahoma. Sunco, Sunico, Sunico. So for 1940, headed to Little, Littleton, Colorado. Boom, 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 boom. Got so many videos I've made so far. I've got like four videos banked on my phone waiting to be uploaded. So I'm trying to find the right. And I'll save in a couple, like if I don't have like a, a Saturday or a Sunday, if I don't do any pulling type of thing, just a filler, kind of like I did last weekend. But uh, this is a vinyl that a customer sends me. I have a customer who sends me any doubles or things they don't want for their collection anymore. Well, he's done it twice at least. So if he watches this video, thank you. Thank you. Uh, this one sold for $16, headed to Anaheim, California. Lock press. Do you that? Okay. We got 
one more spot for a hat. So we got Mizzou hat, sold for 10 bucks, headed to Beaverton, Oregon. Boom, boom, boom. boom, boom. And I often thought, like, with this whole YouTube thing, you know, because this, this is all, like, bonus money for me that I get on here. So that's what's kind of fun about trying to get the, the the money to keep climbing is it's I don't need it. Right. It's just bonus to make to make. I don't I can't really even say to make life easier because life is pretty awesome right now. Right. So it, it's. I don't know, I guess to make life more interesting. I mean, I don't know. I don't I don't know what more money will do to my life. You know, so if I can get this like bonus money, some of these people are, I watch uh, like Heavy D. I don't know if you, you're familiar with Heavy D. They used to have a TV show on Discovery, uh, Diesel Brothers. But he gets like a million, two million views every video, right? And I'm looking at that. I'm like, that's a $10,000 video. That's a $20,000 video. I'm like, that's crazy enough, you know? And of course, I'll never get there. But just thinking about, if I could ever get to like $3,000 a month, like of, of bonus money, of extra money, what will that do for me? And I'm like, I don't know. What would I do with it? You know, obviously I'd be able to help people out more, obviously, which is cool. But what would I do with it? I'm like, huh, I don't know. Well, I could pay off the house quicker. I could, I don't know, graduate my vehicle. That's the way I'm kind of looking at it. Like, ooh, I could get a, a better, you know, a, a more exotic dream vehicle. But I'm happy just the way things are. You know, it's not like, so it's almost one of those things like, if it did happen, it's like, what would I do with, you know, what? I don't know. It's weird. Would definitely be helping out more than you know, I do with like charities and not actual charities, but people who need help. I'm not a fan of charities per se, because you never know where that money's going. I like direct effects. So I prefer my money going toward more direct lines of situations, whether that's because I'm like, man, I to told Jan the other day, I'm like, you know what would be cool? Like, you see people do it in videos. It's like, if we had all this extra money from these videos, we could just walk in to a grocery store and pay for somebody's groceries. How cool would that be? Get $500 worth of groceries. I don't care. I got gotcha. you. How cool would that be? So that's that's where my head is. Like, what cool things could I do to make somebody's life, to make somebody's day to make somebody's life easier and to make their day brighter. You know? So that's where my head goes. So. But it's very cool being in a position where I've fought my whole life to be in a position where I'm comfortable. I don't have to fight anymore. Everything I do can be done for fun or for creativity. It doesn't have to be done to scratch and claw. It can be more fun. I guess that's the only way I can put it. It can be more fun. It, getting, cre I love being creative. I love, you know, having fun with things. So to be able to do that without worry and stress on my shoulders, that's something I've never had before. So it's a very cool, peaceful place. Very cool, peaceful place. All right, I got to get moving. So I'll save these few items for later. And I got to get that vinyl piece real quick too. So uh, we got some Stevie Wonder cassettes sold for 760. We've got these cassettes, five cassettes, romantic evening music, sold for $7. Got 
Got a little rubber ducky. Sold for five. And some women's vans sold for 15. So, and a just like a prayer. Madonna 45 sold for 350. So, I got to get that record. And then I am good to go. Got to make my runs and get back here before. Try to get back here before the guy gets here so I can show him exactly where the problem is with the hot water heater, tankless heater. So, all right. Uh, I think that's everything. No offers have come through. Had four more items sell, uh, but no offers have come through. So right now we're at 1118. I'm at 266. So we'll see where we end up today. I got a feeling I'm still going to end up around that $700 thing unless another big item sale comes in. Which is weird how. How the, usually when the days are down a little, usually they're not so consistent. So being that it's been so consistent four days in a row after that one day where everything was really jacked up. So having that lower consistency makes me go, ooh, is this the new normal, right? So, and if it is, then how do I elevate? And you do that by keep listing. Hopefully that's what does it. So I'm just going to keep listing. I got the stuff to do it. So I've had many of you ask about that Nickelodeon clock that came out of that last video. I will try to get that up today uh, if you guys want it. Uh, you can fight for it. Send me offers, whatever. I'll take the highest offer. Of <laughs> highest uh, offer. So um, and that's all. So that's all for this video. Thanks, everybody, for watching all my videos, all the support, all the likes, all the subs, and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.